We will now talk about again a DFE flip flop, but this time with a preset and clear inputs. So if a flip flop doesn't have a leading or trailing edge at the very beginning, the output is not defined. So we don't know what the output is. So we don't want that. So we we put some preset and clear inputs. So usually preset is used to set the value of the flip-flop at the very beginning uh, and clear is used to clear the outputs at, at any time. So both preset and clear their effect is instantaneous. So they change the output right away regardless of what the what the input or clock is. So this does not matter what the clock or D is but it changes the output right away. So when you have uh, preset is enabled your output goes to 1. Doesn't matter which state it goes to 1. When you when your clear is enabled your output goes to 0. So these are the two cases and I want you to be aware that when I say preset is enabled this is again the decoder idea if you have a bubble here that means in order to enable this your preset has to be zero for same for clear. If there were no bubbles, then the preset and clear would be enabled with one. But in this case, preset and clear will be enabled with a zero. So let's look at the timing diagram that is given here. So we have the clock signal, we have preset, we have clear, and we have the D input. What I would do so first of all, before the preset here, you don't have any defined output. So before that part, you wouldn't really have anything. But right after that, since you have the preset here that is activated and you have clear that is activated here, Without looking the D and clock, you can easily put a 1 all the way up to where the preset ends and a 0 all the way where the clear ends. So this would actually e make it easier and from now on you're just gonna look at your D input and your clock so since this is a leading edge cl uh, clock D flip-flop you only look at from 0 to 1 transitions so it's here 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 and here so this is a leading edge that means we're gonna snapshot the D that is 1 since this is gonna go all the way to there and it is still one so I'll continue with one all the way up to other leading edge in the leading edge here the D is zero so I'm gonna go to zero all the way again up to the leading edge now D goes to one I'll go all the way to the leading edge of the clock I'm not looking cl uh, D. Yes, clock changes here, but I don't care about it. And then here, since D is 0, I'm going to go 0 here. So now we are at the same point with the uh, where we set the clear. So clear is 0. It doesn't change anything because our circuit is already 0 here. Output is already 0. Let me just show this uh, clearer
until here. But since there is no leading edge after that, I'll go all the way here and then take a snapshot of D that is 1 then I'll go all the way here. So this is how you would look at uh, with the preset and clear signal for the flip-flop.